we have this patient who has a little arthritic knee he got a virus deformity also yeah so I put an anterolateral portal anteromedial portal and through the anterolateral portal i put a camera in and you are able to see the anterior part of the medial meniscus with some arthritis there and uh, some medial part of the meniscus is also seen this is medial side okay medial meniscus we are seeing lot of arthritic changes with uh, loss of meniscal tissue so we are going to demonstrate inside out meniscus repair in a medial meniscus okay yeah i feel this is a very good technique for lot of bucket handle tear especially for horizontal cleavage tear with paramenisical cyst very nice technique for this for that one and it's cost effective also okay let me just show some instruments first because one has to be familiar with instruments for uh, doing inside out repair are you able to can you focus the uh, camera here for me over here so we have some instruments here are you able to see the instruments yes so this is a zone specific navigator uh -huh. and outside we have picture, several types view. of needle available Sir, with curvatures on the tip picture, big view outside picture make it larger outside picture outside picture please yes so can you see there is a little knob here yes now we can see. with this knob we can actually try to fix this needle in any angle that we want as you can see can you see that yes sir yes sir nice it actually see. shows that you can do access 360 degree so whichever way you want you can fix it okay so this is for posterior horn and uh, middle area of the meniscus and there is one more which has got a very high angulation this is especially for anterior horn anterior horn of either lateral meniscus or medial meniscus you can use that okay so okay. this also can be turned 360 degree as you like and fix it and then there is a small switch here this will try to advance the needle as you like each time we are advancing we are advancing 1 cm okay. okay 1 cm of needle will go in okay so where is the needle? so the the device is uh, needles in that it's a long needle two long two long needle with a uh, fiber tape small fiber tape attached to that can you see that so hold this one yes, sir. so we can actually put this needle through this hole and with this we can keep passing one centimeter one centimeter one centimeter and it will come out here all right if you pull the whole needle out the fiber tape will come out okay after passing one we'll have to pass another one like this so we'll have a loop inside the joint and externally we will have to tie with a knot so that is a principle the same principle sir, can be applied yes, for yes yeah. sir can the when you are pushing the knob forward the needle goes in hmm. can you reverse it also sir pull it back you can reverse it so if you, so now i passed it in Uh -huh. I can also come back it will go out can you see it is going back yes sir okay okay thank you thank you sir so if you have passed too far then you can actually reverse it and bring it back uh -huh. Uh -huh. and uh, you can adjust the angles to the way that you like okay so uh -huh. very sharp needle yes. okay and it can pierce the tissue quite nicely so that is one aspect next aspect is uh, the thing that we worries me in inside out meniscus repair is damaging structures okay if it is a medial side i am worried about the uh, saphenous nerve and if you are going to posterior which uh, usually we don't employ this technique for a uh, high posterior horn medial meniscus because of fear of the vessels and uh, main vessels and nerves we employ it for the posterior medial aspect not for the total posterior aspect okay so for that what we do is normally hold this one i make an incision here can you see the incision here yes sir show me the forceps give me the forceps and uh, one scissors Subramanian sir, what are the landmark for your incision? I'll show you safety incision. So, I have made a marking of adductor tubercle here. That is adductor tubercle. Okay, can you see that? Yes, That's adductor see. tubercle. Okay, yeah. Here is the anterior part of tibia. Posterior part of tibia is here. Hmm. So, make a line between adductor tubercle and posterior part of tibia. We don't have to go through the whole line, but that is the rough landmark for you. and joint line is here that's a joint line 
okay make an incision about 2 to 3 cm which i already made for you okay and then this is the sartorius fascia what i have seen this is sartorius fascia okay can you see the sartorius fascia yes here is the sartorius fascia okay now once you are in the sartorius fascia do blunt dissection like this then you can see the posterior medial part of the capsule this is posterior medial part of capsule yes sir and semi membranosus is on this side Same membrane is on this side and the middle head of gastronomist is here. So this is what I am showing is a capsule only. Okay. This is a capsule, posterior medial capsule. So saphenous nerve, which is worry for us, isn't it? Always. From adductor tubercle, at least about 5 centimeters away. So saphenous nerve course will be somewhere here. Somewhere here. Okay. Yeah. So okay. from posterior tibial joint line, or adductor tibial about 4 to 5 centimeter posteriorly, you will see the saphenous nerve. We don't, we don't, we're not going to go there at all. Uh, some people have a habit of dissecting that. I think when you're doing a mini invasive, you don't need to do that. If you are able to come bring your uh, future material over this area around the portion medial capsule, almost you are safe. You don't need to go that there at all. But we are aware saphenous nerve is about make a drawing for saphenous nerve where it is so that uh, you are aware the needle does not go there. Okay, yeah. So let's now demonstrate one, one future application. Okay, we have only three suture materials available right now. I have already done one just for, let's open the water now. So, I have Vishal helping me here. Uh, normally, we will be able to do some valgus stress and uh, do some pie crushing also. It will help us for uh, getting medial exposure. Uh, yeah, we can use a uh, zone navigator. But here... Um, I mean, uh, it's a little arthritic you know, knee, so doing a medial pike crushing is not possible, okay? Yeah. So now, the anterolateral portal, are you able to see the yes, sir, yes, picture? Sir. Yeah. Uh, zoom out, outside image, zoom out a little bit. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you. Let me just, there's some bubble there. Yeah, some, uh, these are the inside please. the knee joint. Mm, uh, give the shaver for me. Let's just do some. Uh... There are some good points and bad points about doing in uh, cadaver. Okay. Only good point is uh, probably that also we have like. Uh... You want to demonstrate, you can demonstrate. But sometimes you life surgery you don't get that particular case. Yes. That yes. is the advantage. Yeah. Uh -huh. The subramanian sir, sometimes you have ACL with uh, meniscus repair. So how do you proceed with your sequence? First, you complete your ACL uh, tunnel. So usually, when you're doing ACL and meniscus, I try to put the ACL femoral tunnel, okay, and keep the meniscus ready. And uh, meniscus, I do repair once the femoral tunnel is done, okay. So I have some marrow. So give 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 that zone navigator to me. So now you can see that. Can you see the zone navigator here? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, you already loaded the needle, but you have not passed through the tip. You just loaded it. So I'm passing it through the andromedial portal. It's going in here. So I'm going to do another stitch over in the middle part of the medial meniscus, okay? So I've just kept it here. Now pass. I'm, I'm going to pass the needle. You can pass the needle, okay, like this. So, uh, can you can you pass the needle for me? Just just keep pu pushing it, because you have to keep on the place where you want to pass. Ah, uh, see, can the needle is coming out? Can you see that? Yes, sir. Can you see the needle is coming out? Okay, yeah. Keep passing. Okay, now one minute, one minute, one minute. So now the needle has come out through the skin here. Okay, uh, hold the scope for me. So now what you have to do is have gone too far in. You can br bring it out. Do you use something like a spoon, right angle spoon to deflect the needle? I think uh, definitely we have to use some instrument yeah. to keep uh, our side not. You can deflect the needle towards your incision. Leave, leave. Incision. And see the needle is coming back. Yeah. Uh, okay, now outside, outside image, outside uh, picture we have to see. 
So keep seeing outside that. Image, Are you able to see the outside picture now? Outside image, make it. No, the other image, the other image, the knee image. Outside no. camera. Two. Are you able to see the knee end? No, sir. Outside camera. Ah, yes, one yes. minute. Just... Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. Now, I can see. So we have kept a Langenberg retractor here. Can you see that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nicely. So if you're having some instrument over there, it makes our mind safer that we are not yes. going on any big uh, structures over there. Okay. Yeah. So people use spoon. Some people have their own. Uh, uh, they have a mopping pad or something to pull it because these needle can be very sharp. Don't pull it the hand. Okay. It can cut your hand. So now we have done that. Okay. So this is one done. Okay. I just get the other one focused for you. So one is come out through here. This is one set. We already done it. Okay. This is the next one. We are doing it. So just show the relax now. Come over here. So you can put your vertical or horizontal mattress, whatever suture you want. Ah, uh, yeah, correct. Navigating so, your. Yes. Now I'm going to readjust my area where I'm going to put. Inside okay. Image, if it is image. a tear, which is like a vertical longitudinal tear, I'll put one here. Okay. If it is a uh, tear, which is a cleavage tear, I'll put here. Okay. Next one. If you want to put a mattress stitch, then I'll put here. So you can change your configuration as you like. So now we are going to put one underneath the meniscus like this. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Now pass the needle again. Come. One minute. Keep, keep watching there. So now are you able to see the skin uh, external camera there? Uh, camera two, camera two, big camera view. two, please. Oh, that. Yes. Thank you. You keep passing. Yeah. Yes, sir. So I again, it is coming, coming back. Coming. Okay. Over yes. here. So keep pushing it in. So inside out is actually a fairly simple technique, which is also cost effective also. Yeah. And uh, this is for the medial side. You are going in between the in the behind the posterior medial capsule. Okay, thank you. I have an artery clip and pull it. In the lateral side, you have to be careful about the peroneal nerve. So you have to make sure your incision is in the right place. So now uh, keep pulling it, pulling it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Can you see this? Uh, see the arthroscopy picture there. Yes. Okay. So this is uh, ideal suture pattern for if there is a cleavage tear like this, okay, where the paramenisical cyst or something, then you can close that uh, cleavage like this with the help of one going above on the superior leaf of the meniscus and then below the inferior leaf of the meniscus and try to bring the suture material outside through the uh, membrane here. And now we have this, oh, hold the scope for me. So, can you see this here? Yes, there is no yes, soft tissue in between. Hmm? There is only the posterior medial capsule is there. Huh? Are you able to show, show the external picture for me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Nicely seen. Nicely so, seen. this is one of them. This is another one which I already done it. Okay. Before. Uh, okay. So, by putting not here, I am pretty sure there is no soft tissue. Okay. So this is one way of doing it. In the lateral side, so you have one more, but lateral side is very difficult to go now because uh, um, we have not prepared the lateral side. If you want to go for the lateral side, we'll go for it. I, at least I can show the dissection of the lateral side if you want to. Or your how, how is the time getting on there? I think, uh, Dr. Sharath. Huh. Show me. Hold. Okay. Oh, lateral already. Sir, uh, lateral, there is a different demonstration, sir. Ah, lateral side, huh? Yeah, dissection. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I'll you show the dissection some... demonstration, okay? Yeah. So, and uh, now we are just going to put knot in between these two. The knot is just you put a as usual knot, okay, and hold it there and tighten it. Then you can see that uh, I just put knot of one of them and then it'll go there. Cut this for me. Sir, uh, Sunny is, uh, I think, showing a lateral demonstration. So, I'll, I'll just show how the lateral dissection is, okay? Because uh, uh, the worry for me in all these inside meniscus repair is trapping the tissues in between. That has to be cleared. And you usually make about 3 centimeter incision, 2 to 3 centimeter incision are comfortable. You are not on the nerve and all. So, so hold the hold knot for me.
so inside out repair is actually almost we can call it as gold standard only because i think jagdish also told earlier it's a gold standard uh, because before inside out came, all inside came in we did only inside out for a lot of patients uh, cut this one come cost effective also very much cost effective very cost effective because uh, we have a sir, with uh, with, uh, with the cost of one all in we can actually do multiple here fiber tape is not cutting okay okay cut this needle also okay lateral side the ori is peroneal nerve isn't it for all of us okay hold hold the knot yes sir it is cutting through <laughs> that is because that is a okay thank you okay fine so that is done i just show the lateral side now okay so can you somebody show the camera to the lateral side here it will come here so give me the marking pen i have a gas piece or something so come to this side camera should focus this close yeah so, so lateral side the landmarks are fascist uh, head of the police here subramanam sir uh, uh -huh. we, uh, we uh, sharath has told we are already late so we will go for root repair and then uh -huh. later on we will go for laterally yeah so Shreyashi, no, no. Okay. What I'll do is I'll do the dissection and keep it ready. You can just come for two minutes. Yes, and then yes, come yes. That that we can do, sir. So we will yeah, shift yeah. for root okay. repair now. I'll do I'll do the dissection here and show it to you with the all the on. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Give me a. Uh, has another marker pen? Because it's mark yeah, marker. Man. You are going to go in yeah, this man. one. Camera man. Oh, oh. yeah. Okay. Okay. We have only one. Oh, one camera so only. Hmm. Next, I think there is a separate station. Oh. Okay, I just demonstrate it like this only. Okay, because the problem is we have one cadaver. In that only root root repair is going to be done. Okay, so here is the head of fibula. That is the IT band. So we have to go and, and the biceps tendon is here, where incision is going to be between that IT band and uh, gyrus tubercle, which is over there. Okay, and go in between IT band and biceps. And once you are in that layer, try to identify the lateral head of gastrocnemius and the posterior lateral capsule. So, peroneal nerve is far placed over this area. So, as long as you are in this region, we make about four centimeter incision there. You are safe from peroneal nerve. No issues will be there. And each time the needle comes, try to make sure you keep a spoon or retractor over there and try to bring the needle out through that. So, that is a brief demo for the. So lateral side, but peroneal nerve is here, far posterior, and don't go there at all. So because the incision is going to be over this joint line, IT band, and gyrus tubercle. Okay. Yeah.